Hello everybody and welcome to this new video. This is finally the long ago promised video of me setting up Lotus enclosure. She moved in on the 5th of April so this has been a while but I finally got around to editing it and I really hope that you enjoy this video. Here was the um, empty enclosure and here were some of the stilts that I used in the enclosure or frames with stilts on. And yeah, this is the bedding that I always use. It's called Pfeiffer bedding. I got it at a local agricultural shop. It's spruce shavings. It's made for horses, but it's perfect for hamsters too. And I started by putting in most of the bedding on one side. I decided to dump in the whole bag and just break it up and spread it around because somehow it worked easier this way that time. I don't usually do it this way. And then I just spread it around in the whole enclosure. And after that, I of course needed to compress it so it would hold burrows perfectly. And I always use my hand to do this and I just press it on as hard as I can so it's compressed. And this way it holds burrows way better than if I didn't do this. And I do this all across the enclosure um, because the burrows obviously need to hold in all of the enclosure. And yes, that is quite a lot of work, but it's totally worth it. And here is what it looks like, looked like after I compressed it in all of the enclosure. This was one bag of bedding, which is around 600 liters. Yes, we calculate um, bedding volume in liters. Um, and then I put in some of the accessories that I wanted to use. That is where the sand bath is now. And I wanted to put in the bedding on that side first, just so I could make sure that this frame was at the right spot. So I opened the second bag of bedding and added some of that to the uh, spot where the sand bath would be. Then I compressed that, but I still needed to add a lot more bedding, especially around the sides and the back there. In the end, I ended up putting almost half a bag of bedding on this side. I compressed everything and then I put in the large sand bath. The sand bath is around 100 centimeters long. And here is the gap that I meant that it shouldn't be there. I had to make sure that the frame is at the right space. So I scooched it up right to the sand bath and then I went on to finish the watch box. This is the watch box I made. I decided to make a corner one and I put in some of this KT Clean and Cozy paper bedding in one of the chambers for her to sleep in if she'd want to. Um, she closed the watch box like 24 hours or within 24 hours of her moving in. So there's no watching with this box, but I still really like it. And I still have hopes that someday she will maybe open it back up and sleep in there. But yeah, I just put in uh, the Katie Cleaning Cozy in one of the chambers and then I put on the lid. I decided to make a removable lid like I always do with my um, watch boxes so I can make checking the nest in there more easy. And then I went on and put in the rest of that half bag of um, bedding of the second bag of bedding in the enclosure. And then I just spread it all around. But as you can see, it still needs a ton more bedding. And this was before I compressed it. This is what it looked like after compressing it. And it looks like there is almost no bedding in there yet, even though there is like 1,200 liters in there already. Then I went on to add the third bag. Uh, here's just a closer view um, for you to see that the root is also set on stilts. It's so heavy that it needed to be set on stilts. And then I also added this um, tube that led down to the watch box and I lined it with corks for more grip because the cardboard would be quite slippery. And then I added the rest of the bedding. I then only had this much left of the third bag. And then I, of course, had to compress that as well. Um, this was quite a lot of work. I didn't measure how long it took me, but it did take quite a lot of hours um, and it was quite exhausting, but I still really like to do it. Um, I then had to make sure that this root is at the right spot, that it would fit there with the platform because this is not the finished platform. This is like the support for the actual platform. So I had to move around the root a little bit. And then I added a half bag of bedding again to the enclosure. So this was like three and a half bags now. And then I also added in the multi-chamber house and this is what it, the enclosure looked like then. I still had th that half bag of bedding left. 
And as you can see with the platforms, they're still way too high up, so I needed to add more bedding, which I didn't do right here. I first added some digging dishes, this wooden one, then this glass one here, and then a second wooden one back here. And then I added more bedding. Uh, this here looks like it's almost finished, but I of course had to compress it and I had to start a fifth bag of bedding. And then here is what it looked like pre-compressing and this is after compressing. So this was almost finished, but still some spots, especially back there and under the platforms here in the front and so on that still needed quite a lot more bedding. So of course I added more and then I had to compress that again. And yeah, here you can see again the root, it's half buried, but that's totally fine. I didn't want there to be too big of a fall for her. Like if she climbed on it, I didn't want her to fall too deep, uh, but she still really likes climbing on it. And then after adding all the bedding that I wanted to put in, I had about half the back of the fifth back left. So I put in a ton of bedding. And here is the enclosure when I put in a couple more things, especially in the sand bath. And then I added some heights in the enclosure. And yeah, this is when it really started to come together. I also added the wheel. And yes, the wheel spins even with the lid on. I made sure that it would. And now the fun part started for me and probably for you as well. Here is all the things that I wanted to add to the enclosure. I didn't end up adding everything but a lot of it. And here is what the enclosure looked like once I had to put in um, some of the stuff that I wanted to put in. I switched some things around later on um, and I really made sure that everything is like secured either with stilts or that it sits on something else that would support it so everything is safe for her. And I usually don't really like my setups once I've come to this stage because they're still so empty, but I gotta say that I loved and still love this enclosure even in this stage, especially this little treehouse and Lotha really loves to use that now as well. And now on to decorating. And the next couple of clips is just me adding all the decorations, the different textures and so on. Here I added some terrarium soil, then I added some aspen bedding here. This is the first time I've used aspen, it's not my favorite. Don't know if I will buy it again, but it was fun trying a new texture. Then I added some fine beach chips there, some coarse beach chips in the front uh, under the snail hide. Then here I have some millet husks. Um, then in the next one I have some birch roadie pet bedding. Um, I don't love it, but I still like using it like in a small area. Some corn cob bedding in here, Lotta absolutely loves that. Then some hemp bedding in this area. And then next I added some cork granules to this hide. Some coconut bedding in this area. This is my absolute favorite. It makes the enclosure look so natural and I really, really like using it. Then some KT Clean and Cozy paper bedding here. Lotta doesn't really like it, so I took that out after she moved in. Then I put the hat back in, and then here is me filling the sand bath. It took so much sand, and I have a lot more footage of me filling it, but I decided to not add everything because then the video would be like five minutes longer and it would be really boring. Uh, but yeah, I added a ton of sand and I spread it around, made sure to set all the things that are in the sand bath on stilts so everything would be secure even if she burrowed or dug there. And now I added some terrarium moss to some spots and then I started adding um, dried flowers, dried leaves, sprays and so on. And I will not narrate all of that. You can just watch it with some music in the background and yeah, if you have any questions of this, what stuff I used, then you can of course ask me in the comments. I try my best to answer all comments. Uh, if I somehow miss to answer, then you are of course very welcome to message me on Instagram. And yeah, I hope you enjoy watching the rest of the video.
And here's the enclosure all finished and I am still so in love with this setup. The enclosure does of course have a lid. I didn't have it on here uh, because I wanted to show what it looks like. I tried to make it as enriching and fun as possible and Lotta really seems to love her enclosure and she uses every bit, everything in it. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it and it would mean the world to me if you shared it with somebody who would also like it. And thank you again so much for watching and see you next time. Bye!